we're actually off to a pretty good start. Bracebridge and Huntsville OPP have uh, dedicated resources to those times of day when students are on their way to school, whether it's in, on a school bus or whether it is on foot or on their bicycles. And so we've been spending a lot of time in school zones, uh, making sure to be visible and remind motorists of their responsibilities when it comes to children that are traveling to school. So it just takes that extra bit of time and diligence when driving. A lot of kids are on uh, bicycles or on foot, depending on where you live. Many uh, in-town schools see a lot of pedestrian activity. And of course, in the uh, more remote schools, there's a lot of school bus. So when you come upon a school bus that has the lights flashing and the stop arm extended, both lanes of traffic have to stop. So unless you're in very few areas in, in this detachment area where there is a concrete median dividing the directions of traffic, all traffic has to stop for a school bus with the lights on and the stop arm extended. So it's touch wood, we're off to a good start and we hope that it stays that way. Now, it probably this is a good time to remind uh, everyone about the newer laws surrounding uh, crosswalks and, and actual mm -hmm. crosswalks that have um, school, uh, you know, the, the uh, cross guard, car, crossing guards um, that are on them and, and in terms of what traffic should be doing when a crossing guard is actually on the crosswalk. Mm -hmm, certainly. And it's and it, it actually in all pedestrian crossover areas, whether a crossing guard is posted in that location or not, you are not allowed to enter that intersection until the person has stepped back up onto a sidewalk. So the crossing guard in those occasions comes out and goes back generally to the same side of the road as they are when they're satisfied that, that the pedestrians have crossed. Um, but if there's no crossing guard and you encounter an intersection where there are pedestrians in the pedestrian crossover, then you have to wait until they've made it all the way across the intersection before proceeding into the intersection. So it takes a little bit of extra time, but it's only really a few moments to make sure that everyone gets safely where they need to go. So switching gears completely here, Sam, I want to talk about uh, this, again, uptick in catalytic, catalytic converter thefts, which seems to be happening again. Uh, we had some reports in Huntsville a few months ago now. Um, seems to be an issue once again now in Bracebridge. Tell me a bit about what's happening with that. Mm -hmm. It did. Uh, Huntsville did suffer quite a few losses there a few months ago during in the last really in the last 10 days we have seen the theft of up to 10 catalytic converters by now unfortunately and this gets in the way of once it does tie into schools because it's school buses that have been targeted lately mm -hmm. six school buses on one occasion at a yard on Winhara road three school buses at a yard on bethune drive mm 